Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to load your Leica 3F. <laughs> First thing you want to do is you want to cut out one of these um, because when you get a film roll in our modern day and age, this bit is way too short to fit into the um, Leica how it's meant to. So what I did because I don't have a professional film cutter is I got this template online. So I will put the template right here. So those are the measurements you need, so you'll want to screenshot that so you get the exact measurements you need. It doesn't have to be perfect, or um, but it does help having it pretty accurate. I just used a simple um, ruler to rule out this end, rule this end, find where it was meant to start going up, and then I just drew a line with my ruler and I cut it out with a pair of scissors. So what I do now, this is the cheapy way of doing it. Is I get my film roll and I just scroll it out till it hits there because that's how long it's meant to be so then <laughs> this is my really professional way of doing this then I get bobby pins because I didn't have any you can use like ball clips and things like that I've seen people use but um I just use bobby pins because I had them around the house then we get our pair of scissors. So you can see how I have to take off that little angle there, which is not a problem. So now I get a pair of sharp scissors, um, or Stanley knife is much more preferred, but look, we're doing this with household appliances that I have and not things I don't have. So this is how we're gonna do it. And then I just cut First I take off like just that excess bit, the large bit, and then I'll go back and I'll clean up all my lines. You want to flip your lacquer upside down, pop this bit out, and you want to unlock it. It has instructions here on what to do, not in English, but that doesn't matter. Okay, so you're going to pull your little film spoolie out. Okay, so then next you want to have your two little up bits up. This always helps me. Um, and you want to put this in nice and straight. Then when you put it in, it actually twists it like the wrong way, which really always annoyed me. You want to pop her in there. Perfect. So I'm going to click it right in. Okay, so that's your film roll. That's your film spool. You want to line that up with that end. The close end goes where the film roll is. So it's all flat. You want to make sure everything's all on. And then you want to lock it. Boop. Locked. Okay, now to set it up for your next lot of pictures. You want to pop this in advanced mode. You want to lift this one up. And you want to take up the slack. So now that's nice and tight, you want to pop that back down. Okay, so then, to know that we're properly loaded, as you start spinning this one, this should sp spin the wrong way. You want to do a couple of these, just because there's not going to be anything taken on them. Okay, so, so this was spinning the wrong direction, not towards the arrow, because towards the arrow is to um, wind it back up, and this spins the correct direction. Okay. Now what you can do is you want to push this this direction and you want to reset it to zero. Boop. Okay, so now that's on zero. In order to check whether you um, are at your, the start of the proper film roll, you can unscrew this. Okay, so you want to wind this button all the way. Then you want to Switch this to your 25 to 1 or your 30 to 1. And then you want to move this to the T. And you want to hit the button. That'll make it open. And see how I can see a flat line there? That means that it's all set incorrectly. 
Now when you open this, you shouldn't be able to see any of the sprockets. If you can, you have loaded it incorrect. So some people do this first. Some people take this off, open up the shutter, then do all the loading steps that I did before. Um, you can put it in, you load it, and then if you can see if you can see little sprockets, which you can't in mine, which is perfect. Um, but if you can, you just simply rearrange it. Turn the camera this way, and you just use your thumbs to push them back in. So that's how you'd alter it. Okay, so then to reshut the shutter, you want to rewind this. Take this back to the setting you had it on, which I had it on too. There you go. And then you want to lift this and put it back to what you were shooting on. So I shoot on 200 usually. And then you want to screw your front back on. And we're all ready to shoot again. And that, guys, is how you successfully load your Leica 3F. Now, opening the front isn't a necessary step, but if you're pretty new at this, I'd recommend opening it just to see if you can see any sprockets. Otherwise, your photos won't end up correct. Um, you'll be missing parts of them. Um, so yeah, so I would recommend opening it up if you are new at this. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed Tech Thursday for today, and I will see you next Thursday for more tech stuff. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of my content. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.